Let's open the shader editor, create the material. By the way, I'm in material preview. In the principal shader, pick any color. I'm gonna set roughness to zero. IOR to 1.33. This is the index of refraction of the water, but feel free to play around with it. Transmission to 1. Now to make the little waves, we need a texture coordinate, a mapping node, a noise texture, then a bump node. Plug the noise texture into height. Now plug normal into normal of the shader. Let's go to the noise texture. We can adjust the scale and detail and we can use 4D. Now we can increase the scale of mapping but only on the Y axis for example. Of course we can adjust the strength of the bump. Now we need a layer weight. Plug Fresnel into alpha. Now with this one we can control the transparency. Now let's animate the water. To do that, I'm gonna use the W value of the noise texture. We just need to write hashtag frame slash 500, for example. This number controls the speed of the animation. So if you want a slower animation, you need a higher number. Then press tab to start the animation. Next, we can animate the location of the mapping node, but only on the Y axis. Again, hashtag frame slash 1500. And now let's see the animation. Now we can fake the caustics. We'll need a coordinate texture, a mapping node, a bottom texture. In this one, we can change to 4D, use smooth F1, and you can play with the scale and smoothness. I'm gonna set to 0.05, then add a color ramp, and we can use the sliders to add contrast to the texture. We need a matte node set to minimum plug into the second slot and set the value to 0.96. Now add a second matte node, but this time set to logarithm, plug into the second slot and value to 0.98. Then add an emission shader, adjust the strength, now let's go back to coordinate and we can use a mix color node generated to A, then plug into vector. Now we can plug a noise texture into B, play around with the scale until you find what you want. Now we can mix the texture with factor, I'm gonna use 0.07. Now we can animate the Voronoi texture. Again, hashtag frame slash 400. Finally, we can use some mix shader and connect both shaders and play around with factor to mix them. And that's it. Thank you. See you next time.